Hey, Sue. You look nice. Thank you for coming. Jean always stood up for you when I told her stories about how evil your hair was. Did anyone really come? It's a full house, actually. Workers from the home, other residents, their families. Your sister touched a lot of people. Sylvester. You told us that Willy Wonka was Jean's favorite movie. The way you described Jean made her sound so special. So we wanted her funeral to be special also. Something to capture and express the joy of her life rather than the sadness of her death. It's lovely. That's it. Welcome to the most unusual funeral that I have ever attended which makes sense because Jean was the most unusual person that I ever had the pleasure to spend every Sunday for the last 30 years with. I think that Jean's sister Sue would like to say a few words. I miss my sister. Every night at 10 or so, she used to call me on the phone. And when I asked her why, she'd tell me that her body told her. She wanted to hear my voice. I miss my sister, the smell of her shampoo, the way she could always convince me to read her another book. <laughs> when you love someone like I loved her, they're a part of you. It's like you're attached by this invisible tether, and no matter how far away you are, you can always feel them. And now every time I reach for that tether, I know there's no one on the other end, and I feel like I'm falling into nothingness. Then I remember Jean. I remember a life led with no enemies, no resentments, no regrets, and I'm inspired to get up out of bed and go on. I miss my sister so much. It feels like a piece of me has been ripped off. Just one more time, I want to hold her. Ten more seconds, is that too much to ask? For ten more seconds to hold her? But I can't. And I won't. And the only thing keeping me from being swallowed whole by sadness <laughs> is that Jean would kill me if I did. So for now, I'm just gonna miss her. I love you, Jeannie. Rest in peace. <laughs> 